Right, do I have a plan today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not real. Just kidding. I've got a great plan today, Gravy Timmies, and we'll be playing America. Have you ever heard of America before? They're a fun little country with cheeseburger. But first, that's right, today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. The year is 2023 and it's time to start taking your internet security seriously. Surfshark VPN comes with a variety of different features to keep yourself protected online, like their clean web tool which will scan any websites you want for malicious content. And with a single click of a button you can access regional content that may not be available on your favorite streaming platforms in your country. And with over 3,200 servers in 100 different countries, you can click your way across the globe pretty easy and of course my favorite feature is the ability to only have one account one login for all of your devices very handy and no need for multiple subscriptions so go ahead get started with Surfshark VPN today protect your online identity and your security and access all of that delicious content you aren't able to normally get started today by clicking my link down below and of course you will get 83% off and free extra months for free and and if for whatever reason you are not happy with your Surfshark VPN subscription, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. And once again, as usual, thank you very much Surfshark VPN for sponsoring the video. Get started today by clicking that link and using my code down below. Alright, long time ago, a few months, maybe a year, can't really remember, I showed you my optimal US strat, which is essentially just nuking Japan immediately. And not actually nuking them, that's a bit insensitive because that did happen. Uh, uh, it was a theoretical nuclear bomb uh, that immediately gets them out of the war. But today, I want to do something different. I want to go to the other side of the conflict and immediately knock Germany out of that war too. Which means it's time for overpowered strategies. <laughs> Remember to leave a like if you have fingers. Okay, I won't lie, I haven't put a lot of thought into this because... Um, well, I'm not too sure how quickly you can destroy the Germans as quickly as you can the Japanese. You see, with taking out the Japanese early, all you really need is the submarines to essentially cut them off from all of their supply in Asia. And once that's done, it's very easy just to land and knock them out immediately. Uh, that doesn't really work with the Germans. With the Germans, we're gonna have to land. And landing's not easy. Uh, but I do think I'm gonna have to get rid of all these boats. I know that might hurt some people, but we don't need them. We, <laughs> we need convoys. Uh, also, planes. We need a lot of planes today. Uh, but don't worry, uh, there's actually a pretty cool little strat that we're going to be trying today that's going to be giving us the boost that we need to knock the Germans out as soon as we possibly can. So first things first, we want to rush down and get Agricultural Adjustment Act so that uh, our legislation, if you don't know, with the um, the, the Great Depression fixes, uh, it takes a while for these to disappear. So we want to get that immediately so it starts ticking up. Alright, we got that one, and now we're ticking down until we can get the Fair Labor Standards Act. But what we're doing now is something a little bit unorthodox for America, and we're going to the left, politically. Alright, so we're going to suspend the persecution and go down the communist path like we're actually going to do it. But here's the thing, we're not actually going to go communist. And to do this, we are going to need to get ourselves a communist in government. So there he is, he's slowly going to turn us communist, it ain't that fun. And then we need to go down these two right here, and that's about it, unless we end up getting the civil war, which we really don't want to get. There you go, so doing this, uh, it saves, uh, this will move you closer to the civil war, but we don't care. That's, we will avoid that, right? Hopefully, right? We can hold the Union together, Roosevelt. We have an option here. One of these is going to bring us closer to the Civil War, and one of them is just going to go ahead and give us a bit of a stability drop. So we're going to take the stability drop one, 10%, uh, that is fine. We're going to do this one over here, then we're going to immediately yeet Earl Browd out a window. So doing this immediately is going to put us into slow economic growth and get rid of uh, even more of our Great Depression debuffs, and then by the time we've done this, hopefully we can go over to Fair Labor's Act and then be done with the Great Depression! 
Simple. Right, there you go. Economy is now getting stimulated, and we can get rid of him once and for all, uh, so we don't go to the Civil War. Also, we can make it even better for ourselves and do some anti-communist raids to lower that back down. Hey, that's pretty good. That means we can now go straight to the Fair Labor Standards Act and get rid of the Great Depression in 1937. Well done. Let me let me fluff your little hair there, Roosevelt. All right, just to be sure, I don't also die here we are going to ban communism and look at that democracy returned to the u.s by banning a political party uh, so when i play u.s games i usually like to build up all the resources you end up needing but uh this time around we we can't really afford that we're gonna need the the mills immediately all right there you go great depression is gone we can move off of this eventually uh can't do that right now but we will be able to do it once i go limited intervention and start getting some more support yeah, also on top of going down that part of the communist tree over here is that we did get the accumulated wealth tax as well, which will give us the uh, permanent minus 5% off our consumers, which is even more consumers as the Americans that you don't even need. So as we've got limited intervention, we do need to check our decisions quite often as we get stuff down here that will raise our uh, war support as things get annexed in Europe and stuff happens, which uh, is going to raise our war support enough that hopefully we can get up straight to partial mobilization when I have the political Bow. There we go. Partial mob and we are rocking and rolling away. Alright, there we go. The industry is going pretty snazzy right now. We are getting out as many planes as we physically can because that is going to be the big turning point here and then we're going to join the allies as soon as we can and get over there and try and dwell, beat the Germans. Alright, it's happening. Uh, World War 2 is kicking off and as soon as we can we are going to hit the button and join. Alright, we're up to 72% tension. As soon as France falls, that should be an... Oh, no, that is enough right there. We, we are in and ready to go. Alright, we're just gonna uh, go ahead, join the wars, deploy every single one of our planes, and uh, hopefully <laughs> get rid of the Germans as quickly as we can. Our American army has arrived in France to keep the French alive. We've decimated the German air force already, and we are getting ready to push them back. Oh, now that is pretty nice. Right, boys, last one to Berlin's a rotten egg. Now we've pretty much uh, dealt with the Axis. Uh, just got to finish off the Germans here. We do also need to still worry about the Japanese. So uh, we're going to send the fleet over to the Philippines and then uh, we'll come deal with them at some point. We'll get around to it, you know? Hey, nice. There goes the Germans. Just got to capitulate the Italians now and then we'll head over to Asia and... Um, I'll deal with that too, but uh, supercharge US one uh, bad guys zero. Oh, they did just land in the Philippines. So, oops. Okay, sorry. Did I say uh, supercharge US? I actually meant supercharge Netherlands, of course. Uh, <laughs> you're not even connected to the mainland. All right, nice. Now, I think the best part about this is we've destroyed the Axis so quickly that the USSR doesn't even get their mitts on any of the land. Um, okay, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what France really uh, <laughs> was thinking when they did this. Alright, whatever. I took a good portion of that land because I deserved it. But anyway, uh, time to go <laughs> rescue Asia. I just only just realized, by the way, that half my army was actually uh, stuck over here in Romania uh, because <laughs> the AI just released all these nations. None of them joined the faction until just now. So, uh, yep, come on, boys. You can rejoin the fight. I, I love the AI. They're just, they're just too smart. Uh, I was going to invade that UK, but, um, wow. You, <laughs> you're lucky I can't declare war on you. Hey, what am I kidding? We're all on the same team, right? <laughs> that team being Team USA. Uh, you know, I do have a sneaking suspicion at some point the USSR is going to go to war with us. I just don't know exactly how it's going to kick off, but I do feel like it's gonna happen at some point. All right, this time we are dropping a different type of bomb on. <laughs> I can't say uh, this time. The, no, no, this time we're, we're invading Nagasaki with the U.S. Army. Look at that. It's uh, well, that was actually incredibly easy. Huh? Uh, looking at the state of that tank division, I get the feeling the Japanese won't be putting up much of a fight today. Okay, so glad that uh, all my friends have turned up. They're they're, um, 
kind of raining on my parade though as this was a Team USA victory, not a Team USA plus friends victory. Uh, I hate the fact it says I have 5% war participation, alright? I feel like I have a bit more than 5% here. Well, there's my pitiful 107 points for the peace deal. I guess I will take that. They're, they're even fighting me for that, eh? I can't, I can't have anything in America. Oh, yeah. Uh... Well, uh, I did get my part of Japan. I guess we've, we're doing our own little allied occupation. Uh, <laughs> except normal Japan still just exists. Thank you, AI. Oh, uh, I guess they, they also released Shrek Island over here too. Well, just turned 1943, and I guess that's everything done. <laughs> Though, I think we may have to talk about the big red elephant in the room. I mean, hey, if we're uh, being superpowered US, can't have a superpowered US and also a Soviet Union in the same world, can we? Uh, I was kind of hoping they would, uh, you know, start justifying on someone or something, but uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna do it just yet, so I guess I will be the one to be the bigger man here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the multinational task force ready for action. Uh, I guess one of the annoying things being democratic is that we can't get any collab governments on uh, countries, so uh, evading the USSR is going to be a little bit tricky, and by tricky I mean we're gonna have to push quite far. Um, but uh, hopefully with all of our friends, which there are a lot of friends, it should be short work. Uh, I also like Oh, I still have my uh, intervention decisions <laughs> for the Germans. I could get a topple government against the German Republic. <laughs> Yeah, you're just not democratic enough for my liking. All right, USSR. Um, here's a little thing called uh, American interventionism. It's nothing personal, Stalin. In fact, I was almost a communist myself. Uh, I just fired the communist guy, though, halfway through. And by fired, I mean threw him out a window. Yeah, but not before I absorbed all of his secrets, like how to fix the economy. After that is when he went out the window. Yeah, uh, although why, why am I explaining? Hey, you know all about <laughs> throwing people out of windows as a Russian. Uh, sorry, Stalin wasn't even Russian. But the joke still works, okay? <laughs> hey mom, can we have Operation Barbarossa? <laughs> no, we've got Operation Barbarossa at home! Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of my allies aren't really doing too well, but it also might be down to the fact that they are just kind of like death stacking on provinces and uh, all killing each other from the supply issues. I'm, I ain't even sure what the AI is doing over here. Why are you just, oh no, are they, are they naval invading? Okay, yep, that's... They're, they're going for the naval invasion. Again, I just, I hate the fact that the UK literally owns half of Romania, but the land they're pushing into is just flipping to Romania. Yeah, I also don't appreciate that uh, that also looks like a massive dong. Yeah, you know what? In fact, now I'm looking round, round more and more alive. <laughs> A lot of stuff doesn't make sense from what they did at that peace conference. It's a little bit complicated with the supply, and uh, the Polish don't really want to give me a lot of this land, because then I could just kick the AI out by not allowing them to uh, use the supply hubs. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to give it me now, though, so let me just uh, grab a whole bunch of this. Um, and yeah, let's just um, turn this off. I don't... Wait, is this the one that turns it off? I, I don't even know. Hopefully this turns it off, or gives it to them. Who cares, really? I don't even know anymore. That's, that's got rid of them. Uh, it's kind of difficult trying to understand what's going on with half this wall. Uh, if you actually just straight up turn their units off, uh, yeah, a lot less complicated, honestly. Um, a lot more peaceful, too, considering we're at war. Well, uh, here come the Australians, um, and also all of Australia's friends. Kind of hoping the AI would, like, go over from the east and maybe do a little invading. Um, but doesn't look like they're gonna do that. But, uh, I guarantee- I was about to say, I guarantee they've taken this stupid island up here that they always take! Yeah, it's a little off topic, but there really is just, like, a lot of provinces in Hoi 4 that, uh, you just never really, like, give the time of day or luck at. You know, like, no, this thing up here. The Chuck E. Cheese Peninsula. Wait, I just... Uh, okay, so uh, if you go down your war plan, uh, you actually get a decision uh, for anti-Bolshevik aid where you can aid people who are at war with the Soviets. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't think I really need to do this, but who could I give some guns to? Here you go, Japan. Have a thousand guns. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, because I'm here as well, might as well get a topple government against the German Republic. Just can't trust them. You never know when they might try and conquer Europe again. I, I don't think there's much left uh, for the Soviets to really defend with, uh, but I am still going to have to invade quite far into them. Uh, no one is invading Vladivostok, which would help, but... Uh, I don't even want to look at the casualties right now, because I've just been grinding up against them. Oh, that's not that bad. I just said, like, 790,000 dead people isn't that bad. <laughs> okay, in the video game, Hearts of Iron 4, that ain't too bad, alright? It's it's a little less more than, it's a little less than optimal, but, uh, considering I've not even been paying attention, and I'm sure a lot of that is probably down to attrition as well, uh, not that bad. I don't know why I only just started building tanks, uh, but I don't think there's going to be much use for these guys. Actually, no, I will need them for the great invasion of the German Republic. Oh, what? Why did I bypass the US-USSR economic cooperation? I feel like we could still figure out a deal, right? Damn, I, I can't even do the unholy alliance. What's the point of living anymore? Come on! Uh, also, a quick note, because uh, I'm assuming some people might bring up the unholy alliance. I think they actually changed it because before I did a video on this, uh, if you do the Unholy Alliance, you don't have to be communist to do it. Uh, when the Soviets are at war with the Germans, if they get to, I think, 80% capitulation, uh, you have a decision to annex them completely. Uh, it's just a button. You just click it, you annex the Soviet Union. You don't have to be at war with Germany. Uh, you just annex them. Um, but as far as I'm aware, I think they recently, as of like, uh, last six months, maybe a year, they actually changed it. So now you have to be at war with the Germans too. But, uh, I think you still do get an annex on the Soviet Union. Although it might not be guaranteed anymore. So, uh, sadly I can bring that into my super-powered US strat. I only just realized, I, uh, I think, <laughs> I think parts of the Navy needed a little bit of repairing. <laughs> my giddy aunt, as some people would say. Uh, I knew it. Look, you cannot trust the German Republic. They've even got Japan as their friend. <laughs> Time for Operation Preemptive Strike. <laughs> See, they, they were, li they were all literally planning to overthrow Europe once again. I just, uh, the Germans cannot be trusted. Uh, you just, you just gotta put your first down, all right? Or before you know it, you'll be paying for your baguette with a euro. Uh, gonna have to deal with this situation. Uh, <laughs> my, my puppet. <laughs> the Japans are fighting. Well, there go the Soviets. And okay, once again, I don't like the fact that my allies have quite a few points here. I don't want to know what is about to happen here. You know what? I'm just gonna focus on taking the east. I really don't care about the west. All right? The AI can do what they please over there. Oh yeah, can't come. <laughs> Get the Chuck E. Cheese Peninsula over here. Well, that went uh, a little bit weird. Did I take that? When did I take that? All right, I may have accidentally clicked these promises while I was puffing a little bit of Russia. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. But you know what? I've seen worse. Um, I mean. Not bad, really. Uh, I actually, I don't mind that. I, I think that's pretty good. Not bad. I think I'm coping here. This is kind of bad. All right, now back to my true enemy, <laughs> the Japanese again. All right, I've got a plan. Uh, will it work? Let's find out together. Now we need to find the definition for working and whether or not this fits into it. Oh, you know, this is fine. I mean, we don't have a port, but who needs a port? Oh, easy. Nice. Um... Wait, did someone already take Japan? I can't even afford to take Japan. Why do I have no war score? What? Okay, I both started and ended this war. This is messed up, okay? I <laughs> I mean, fair enough, my puppet got the land, but what the hell? I did all the work. All right, well, at least now, uh, my American mandate of Russia is touching tips with the United States German occupation zone, which is just actually now the 51st state. Oh, actually, no, it is, it is not the 51st state because I haven't actually got up to 50 states yet. All right, but anyway, I hope you liked my supercharged US guy. I just realized it's not even, not, we haven't even gone to 1945 yet. Wow. Okay, well, America's pretty powerful if you know what you're doing. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, you want to get the strat a uh, go yourself, feel free to try it and leave a comment down below what you would improve or change about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just go, go ahead, critique me. Go to hell, buddy. But if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below. And make sure you hit the sub button because we'll be back for Alpha Land. <laughs> <laughs>